All right, so now if we click on home, it gives us the home. If we click on users, it renders slash users. If we click on explore, then we get to the explore page. Hey friends, welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to add some simple routing to your React project using React Router DOM. So basically, first of all, like why do we actually need routing? So let's go to this, uh, my actually Twitter homepage. And you see that here, the URL says Twitter slash home, right? Now, if I click on explore, it shows Twitter slash explore, but do you notice that it doesn't actually refresh the page? So how does Twitter know what to render given the URL? And that's basically what we are going to do. For this project, we are going to build a simple React web app with three pages, home, explore, and let's say profile. So what I did is I created a new folder called uh, documents, projects, and then router, which is where we're gonna host the project. So the first step is going to be to install react or rather to use the Re create react app so let's do npx create react app and we use a dot to signify that it's going to be in this directory right all right and when that is done what we want to do is we want to install we want to install react router dom so let's go to npm install react dash router dash dom we're going to install react router dom all right so when that is done so let's open vs code in this directory and let's make it full screen and let's zoom in a bit so you guys can see everything and then we are going to run the project npm start and what this does is basically just spins up the react server uh or the react front end sorry and then uh boots up our project and after a bit of loading this is what it should look like so here we have simple source.react uh which is showing all right so let's get rid of everything that's in app.js so let's get rid of everything from here basically down to here and let's return div say hello world and save it and zoom in a bit and this is what it looks like now we installed react router dom so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to import three different things from react router dom we're going to import the router a route and the switch so let's import and then curly braces browser router as router switch and route from react router dom let's save it so what we are going to do is we are going to wrap our whole return statement and wrap it in a router uh, router component that we just imported and the router component is what will allow us to route to the different urls and render something based on those urls and now we are going to add a switch statement so let's open up switch and close it and now based on the url we want to render something different so and in this router we are going to add the switch statement and what a switch statement does is that it renders the first route or redirect at majesty location let's do that we it route it, it, it renders the first route uh, route or redirect and we have three routes namely um, users home and explore so let's do three routes equals slash here and this is going to um, be our uh, home path let's go one up path equals explore and this is the explore page and this is the path oh inside path equals uh, users which is going to be the users page if you save it and check out your react app everything should work perfectly and the reason i don't put home is because it renders the first child or uh, redirect the first route or redirected message location so i'm going to add that here as a nice uh, note so what happens when you put this up front then it always will render this one because this is the first thing for the uh, the first path that it matches so we have the users we have explorer and we have home now you can't see anything in the app but if you now open up your react app to go to slash it renders home if you now go to users, it actually render, renders users. And if you go to explore, it should render explore. It should render explore. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import link. Let's add link on top, import it from React Router DOM. And outside of the switch statement, because the switch statement renders stuff dynamically, we are going to add kind of a nav bar. So let's add some nav tags and some unlisted uh list here and some list elements and of course we have three pages so let's make three list elements in each of these list elements i just make one actually we're going to make a add a link and this link goes to home so let's add link to and then match the url let's see if this works and we click on it it renders home 
it's a bit big, but yeah, you get the deal. So let's add the last two links. It should, it's going to be a link to users. Let's make it actually, uh, yeah, it should be slash users. And then the link text is home uh, users. And here we have link two. let's go explore. And then the link text is explore. All right. So now if we click on home, it gives it to home. If we click on users, it renders slash users. If we click on explore, then, um, we get to the explore page. So that's it. All we need is basically, we need four things. We need a router, a switch, a couple of routes and some links to each and every page. We use the switch statement to dynamically render um, the URLs that the route matches. And we add some, uh, we add like a constant nav bar on top, but still inside of the router. So that's how you use uh, some simple routing. This is a basic introduction to how the routing works uh, in React using uh, React Router DOM. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.